Hi everyone, on this Great Lakes prepping video, I want to talk about uh, the Baofeng radio and available accessories and charging capabilities, as well as a couple other things. Now this isn't really so much of a video uh, talking about the merits of the Baofeng um, portable ham radio uh, or any small ham radio or similar type of radio device. Um, this is a really popular model for uh, people who are into prepping and uh, whether or not you've decided to buy this one or, or, uh, or a different model altogether, I think this will still be pretty relevant because it's mostly about being able to use the radio um, in the way that you want to and uh, anywhere that you might need to. So this is the basic radio. Uh, that you that you get when you when you buy it. this is what comes out of the box this is the antenna that it comes with um, the first thing that I did uh, mostly based on the advice that I read online was to get the longer antenna now this is going to increase your your um, transmitting and receiving range by a pretty good amount um, I can uh, receive signals um, from Clear, uh, clear across my county, and I live in a pretty big county. Uh, it's coming from the repeater, so I'm sure that it's a pretty strong signal coming out, but still, with the small antenna, I have no, no chance. Uh, so I, keep, I usually keep this in my bag, uh, keep the small one attached just because it's a little easier to store and, and carry around. Uh, if I'm in the woods with some friends and, and they have their radios as well, I might just stick with the small one. Um, the other uh, accessory that I consider a must-have is is this cable. Now this cable, if you aren't already familiar with it, which I bet a lot of you are, allows you to attach the radio to your computer. And it plugs in to the same port that the uh, external microphone would plug into. It plugs in right here, and the other end goes to your computer with the USB. And using a, a piece of software, a um, very popular free one, uh, is called Chirp, you can program your radio. Uh, if you've played around with your radio a lot, you know that it's really frustrating to navigate all the little settings with all these little, little buttons and trying to scroll through menus and, and do everything the hard way. If you use a program like Chirp, you can bring up something that basically looks like a spreadsheet and say, I want channel 1 to be this frequency, channel 2 to be this frequency, and so on, and you can give them all um, a name. Uh, so, pretty cool. Um, this is the official Baofeng adapter. I first bought a cheap knockoff one off of Amazon, and it just did not work. It would not connect uh, the device to the computer in any way that, that did me any good. So I threw it away, and I bought the official one. I think it's about 15 or $20. Uh, the main thing I want to talk about in this video though is charging, um, making sure your battery is charged when you need it. Uh, now the, the radio comes with this docking station um, which allows you to charge it from a regular wall outlet. Works really well, it's very convenient, um, but it doesn't really do you a whole lot of good if you're out somewhere where you don't have um, a wall outlet. Um, now even though these radios, uh, the, the battery that comes with it holds a lot of charge, um, I still think it's important to have a backup plan like with anything. Uh, now I mentioned that it holds a lot of charge. Um, when I first bought this radio, before I even charged it, I just started using it. So whatever charge that it came with, it lasted me a long time. Uh, I got my entire um, uh, amateur radio license, my ham radio license, using this radio um, to, uh, you know, work with and experiment with. And I don't think throughout the entire thing uh, I ever charged the battery. Uh, I have since charged it, and I don't think I've had to charge it a third time, and I've had this radio for quite some time now. But that's not the point. Um, you know, two is one and one is none and so forth. So I say, what if I'm out somewhere, I'm in the woods, you know, I go out there as often as I can, pretty pretty off the uh, off the beaten path. Um, if something happened and I needed to communicate, um, 
I can't risk not being able to have a, a, a battery with a charge if I need one. So I started looking at available options for this radio. And the first thing I came across was this uh, battery adapter. Now what this does is, is replaces the battery uh, that comes with it, the lithium ion battery. And it slides right into place. Um, but before you do that, you load it with AA batteries. That's pretty cool. Um, you can often find AA batteries wherever you are. Uh, this is some little uh, um, like plug or placeholder that it came with, and I don't remember what this is for. If you're only supposed to put five batteries in here instead of six, and this acts as a placeholder, or, or it can work on five if you don't have six. I gotta re I gotta refresh my memory on what that thing's for. Luckily, I've not had to use this out, out in the woods yet. So, uh, what happens if I have a pack of AA batteries and they also go dead? Well, the next obvious step is rechargeable batteries. So, the plan is to load this adapter up with the rechargeable batteries after they've been charged, of course. Then this thing attaches to the radio, and I'm all set. So the next thing you're probably wondering is, how am I going to charge these batteries if they lose their charge while I'm not at home or not with my vehicle? And I'm glad you asked, because the next step in this whole, uh, this whole process is a battery charger that charges via a USB uh, wire, either from a computer or from the port in a car, or in my case, from a portable solar panel that is specifically uh, meant to charge USB devices. I originally got this thing so I could charge my phone uh, or any other uh, devices like that. Um, I can even charge my, my uh, drone batteries off of this thing, but I figured it'd be great if I had a way to charge uh, these AA batteries with it. So, um, so that's where this charger came in play, and I'm trying to remember where you have to plug it in on this thing. It's been a while since I've actually used it. Um, it comes with kind of everything you need. There's the wire, it plugs into this. Uh, this little module, there's, I don't know if you can see this real well, but there's uh, there's two USB ports, so you can plug two things at the same time. Uh, excuse me, charge two things at the same time. So, this thing's pretty cool. Um, I would generally set this out somewhere, preferably sunny, because that's kind of the whole point. Um, actually, I, use, I need a different wire. This wire that it came with is meant for... Um, cell phones uh, or, or, or things that use this particular USB adapter. My charger uses uh, the normal sized USB plug and I believe that I need to locate my, my other wire. It must be floating around in my in my bag somewhere. I ought to grab that and make sure it's tucked away into this thing so I always know where to find it. That's a uh, that's a, a preparation right there that I realized that I need to do. Um, so, so that's that's the gist of this thing. Um, I like this panel a lot. Uh, it, it it didn't cost a whole lot. I think it was around forty dollars. Um, it works it works pretty well. Um, obviously, the bigger your device, the longer it's going to take to charge. And uh, you know, my cell phone charges very fast when you use the fast charger that it came with um, in a in an AC outlet. And it charges pretty slow through just a regular USB cable, but it still charges. And this solar panel charges it just as fast as plugging it into the lighter outlet in my truck. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, my 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 Baofeng ham radio accessories. Uh, that if everything goes the way it's supposed to, will let me use it in any circumstance regardless of uh, location and uh, I guess all I really need to have if nothing else is some sunshine
Um, one last little thing before we go um, is uh, is my um, cheat sheet, my reference card. Um, I printed this out um, from the internet. Uh, you can find this too. I'll try to remember the URL and put it in the description here. But it's a cheat sheet of all uh, a bunch of common um, radio frequencies, uh, including FRS, GMRS, uh, MURS, uh, as well as a bunch of common um, ham frequencies that, that seem to be useful to well, people like us. Um, I'm not sure if this camera will focus in on this in a way uh, that is of any use. Probably not. <laughs> so that's it. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, I, I'd be very interested to hear if anyone else has come up with any other solutions or found any other very useful accessories for their little Baofeng radios. Um, this is um, by no means an expert on this, but this is the way I've done it, and um, I, I'd, I'd love to hear about how you guys are doing it. So that's it. Until next time. Something that I almost forgot to talk about, so I'm just going to sort of wedge it somewhere into this video, is the carrying case. Um, I got this really nice hard shell case, and it's perfect for holding uh, almost all of my um, radio accessories. Um, it's uh, from a, a brand called Caseling, and uh, it's, it's, it's really cool. Um, I can hold... Um, all of my rechargeable battery packs uh, and lo and behold this is the other USB cord that I thought I was uh, missing but it was in here the whole time so I guess I uh, I guess I was prepared um, this will hold uh, these battery uh, rechargeable batteries um, the battery adapter uh, the, the battery charger itself of course um, a little quick reference card and uh, normally when I uh, put this whole setup in my in my bag. I'll take this antenna off here and uh, fit everything in here all the same. Uh, it seals up. And it's nice and protected, and it's it's just it's just perfect. This tucks right into one of the pockets of my bag, and I'm ready to go.